Hi guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do an update from my guide, Grand Theft Auto 5. I think the last time I did that was two years ago. A lot of stuff changed on Windows, on your uh, driver from your GPU, and also inside of the game. So we're going to look at this. So the first thing that I recommend, right, game mode. Make sure that your game mode is at on. In my previous video, I was saying they're not using it. They did a lot of update and now it's really good for stuttering. It's going to make sure also that your resources will focus on your game. So super important to use it. I still recommend to not using the Xbox game bar. It's causing stuttering, lag and crashes. And for the capture, make sure that background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend is your um, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. To find that, just search for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. And um, it will help with bottleneck with entry-level card like the 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, and the 20, 2060. You can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost in your FPS. Another thing that I recommend is make sure that you have the latest driver for, for your GPU. So go in the Radeon website, NVIDIA, even Intel. If you're playing with an integrated GPU, make sure that you're going on their website and you download the latest version of their driver. I also recommend, and I have a dedicated video for NVIDIA and, and Radeon, it's the image scaling. So with Radeon, it's called Super Resolution. And with NVIDIA, it's NIS, uh, NVIDIA Image Scaler. Um, so I'm going to just explain the co concept. So for an example, I'm using a 2K monitor. So when I play GT, uh, GTA, I'm playing at 2K. So inside of the game, I can lower the resolution at 1080p. And with the super resolution, it will upscale it back at 2K. And it can give me a nice 15 to 20% boost in my FPS. So it's pretty amazing. You can do that also if you're playing in 4K. You want to maybe upscale from 2K or even 1080p. You, you can do a lot of different resolution. And you can expect really good results with super resolution. And honestly, it's pretty much the same with NVIDIA. Pretty much the same with the image quality and the boost of FPS that you will get. So I really recommend to use that if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend is your energy plan. So write energy. Go to your power option. Make sure that you're running balance or high performance. Sometimes with some laptop, uh, it's stuck at power saver or eco mode or battery eco, whatever. Uh, so super important to make sure that you're using balance or high performance. Another thing that it, you can use, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. I'm going to put the link in my video description. So it's currently running here, as you can see. Uh, it's really good if you don't have a lot of RAM. So for example, if you have 8,000 meg here, 8 gig of RAM, um, you can normally, I, I always recommend to divide by two your total RAM and you put this over there. So for an example here, I have 32 gig of RAM. I put 16 gig of RAM in my free memory and you just press start and it will automatically um, optimize your standby list cleaner. Right now it's optimized because I was running it, but sometimes you will see that you have a lot of meg over here and it helps with stuttering and it will also help you if you're struggling with your RAM. So you just lower this and you're fine. One more thing that I can recommend also, I have dedicated the guide on my uh, channel for overclocking CPU and GPU safely, not too crazy without touching voltage and stuff like that. You can definitely look at this. You can expect like a... 2 to 12 percent boost in your fps with that it really depends on your thermals and also what type of component also that you're using and this is pretty much it so now let's go inside of the game so now inside of the game so in your suggest limit i recommend to stay at off the api of the game so this one is a bit tricky it really depends on your goal do you want pure performance do you want like image quality is your gpu very old or new so it really depends. So if you want a new, if you have a new GPU, I recommend to go with DirectX 11. If you have something like three or four years old and um, or even older than that, and you want pure performance, I recommend to use DirectX 10.1. This is the most performant uh, DirectX. But if you have something like very recent, for example, a, a 3060 Ti. I still recommend to use 11 because it will be better than 10.1. But if you have something like older, 10.1 uh, is the way to go for pure FPS. After that screen type, I really recommend to go full screen. It's better uh, for your stability in your FPS. Also, if you want to use the image scaler from AMD, you need to go full screen. 
For the resolution, I recommend to go native with your monitor. So 2K if you have a 2K monitor, 1080p if you have a 1080p monitor. Uh, this is also, if you want to use the image scaler, this is where you will lower your resolution uh, and the scaler will upscale it back. Aspect ratio, just go auto. Refresh rate, super important to use your uh, proper refresh rate. So by default, the game is at 60. Uh, if you have a 144 Hz monitor, make sure that you have 144 over here. After that, the uh, anti-aliasing. You have two options. I'm not a big fan of MSAA in this game. First of all, you will lose 4-5% in your FPS. And also, I feel like the game is blurry with it. Uh, me, personally, I don't play with it without any anti-aliasing. But I know a lot of people don't like aliasing in this game. So, uh, FXAA is the way to go. It's not bad. It will remove a lot of al aliasing. And it will take like 2% of FPS. So, it's a nice compromise. For the V-Sync, I recommend to go with off, but it really depends on your computer. Again, uh, if you have a free sync or G-Sync monitor, definitely go with V-Sync. Uh, uh, V-Sync at off, sorry. And uh, if you don't have those technology and you don't care about screen tiering, you can stay at V-Sync off. But if you don't like the screen tiering, you will need to put your V-Sync at on and it will add a little bit more input lag in your game. After that, the slider. The first slider, the most important one, will be the distance scaling. Uh, honestly, if you're playing with an integrated GPU, don't go crazy with those sliders. Just go minimum like this. But I can recommend something like this at start. So your population density and your distance scaling, pretty much the same population variety. You can go a little bit higher. Look at your FPS. And after that, if you're still struggling with your FPS, or uh, your FPS seems perfectly fine, you can definitely go higher or lower depending on the situation. After that, the other parameter, the texture quality. This one really depends on the amount of video memory that you have. So I really recommend to just make sure that you have 20% empty. Uh, in my case, I can just go very high because I have a lot of uh, space, but it really depends on your VRAM. So just look at this. Shader rate quality, if you go very high to normal, you can expect a nice 7% boost in your FPS. So this parameter, I recommend normal. Shadow, this is the one that will give you the most FPS. So I compare very high to normal. You can expect a nice 16% boost in your FPS. So really important also. Reflection in this game is taking a lot of resources. So if you're getting crazy drop when you have uh, reflection, uh, it's, it's probably because of reflection. So just go with normal also for this one. I don't recommend to use the MSA8 reflection. Water quality, this one is not that bad. Uh, if I compare very high to high, I'm getting like 4% boost. But high to normal, I saw a difference of 2% in my FPS. So definitely you can go with water at high if you want a decent image quality. Particle, I really recommend to go with normal. Uh, you, if you're like fighting, you see some explosion and you're getting a, a crazy drop. This is probably because of particle. So super important to go with normal. Grass quality is a bit like water. If you compare a uh, normal to high, not a huge difference in your FPS. High to very high, you will see a big difference. So I recommend to go with high. Sub shadow, go with sharp. Pulse effects, I recommend to go with normal. Not a huge fan in post effects. Uh, it makes also my game blurry. So uh, with normal, first of all, you will gain a couple of FPS. And also, you will have a better image clarity. For anisotropic filtering, uh, it really depends on what you put on your texture quality. So very high, I recommend 16. If you go with I8, uh, medium or normal, go with 4X. And if you have like a, an integrated video card, very old with like 1 gig of VRAM, go with off with this one. Ambient occlusion, uh, I recommend, it's, it's a, a personal uh, preference, uh, because at off, you will gain a lot of FPS, like 12%, but I, I know a lot of people think the game looks flat without NBN occlusion, so I recommend to go to normal if you don't like the way your game looks, but it's a huge improvement in your FPS, so it will really depend on your preference. The, the other one, the last one, the tessellation. Tessellation, honestly, for the past, like, Five years if you have a, a video card for the, yeah, that date for the past five years normal will will not even affect your fps but if you have like a very old video card and an md video card sometimes they struggle they were struggling with t tessellation so just removing it it really depends on the type of computer that you're using i don't recommend to use any advanced um 
I will say no for that. Any advanced uh, graphic, uh, so everything at off. It really, if you want, like uh, you have a very good computer and you want image quality, so you can activate high, resol high resolution shadow, long shadow, but it's taking a lot of resources. So again, it's a question of personal preference. Do you want like a really good image quality or you want FPS? So this is it guys for the guide if you have any questions just come in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace